guys welcome to the operation research class now we are going to learn transportation problem and we are trying to solve that problem with the help of lcm method lcm stands for low, lcm stand for low cost method okay so low cost method what is low cost method means we are trying to find out the lowest cost for the transportation okay this is the little bit uh, next version of the nwcr so with the help of lcm whatever transportation cost you will get it is always lesser than the nwcr method okay so you are getting a, if you are getting in last sum we still remember that we got the uh, 2190 is the transportation cost for the nwcr method now we we'll check out with the help of the same sum we are going to solve with the lcm least cost method or low cost method we are going to solve the same sum so first thing we have to check whether this given problem is balanced or not so how to check that balance or not so you have to do the total of demand and total of supply if both the total of demand and total of supply is matching then it is a balance so total of demand is equal to total of supply means it is balance okay means it is balance now we have to check for check for that okay now 11 plus 13 24 24 plus 19 43 Again, six plus ten, sixteen. Sixteen plus twelve, twenty-eight. Twenty-eight plus fifteen, right? Forty-three. So, as you are seeing, the total of demand and total of supply are for same forty-three. It means the given problem is balanced, right? Once you know the given problem is balanced, now we have to perform the next step, right? So, what is next step? So, this is our given matrix. Don't think about supply and demand when we are choosing the least value, okay? so these are the given value or cost you can say that okay so out of this given value or cost you have to choose the least value smallest value so see here okay 26 is there is there any lesser than 26 okay so we got it so 26 is the least cost now once you select the least cost now you have to check the supply and demand of that particular cell okay so supply for this uh, particular 26 is 11 and demand is 15 so which one is the small yes obviously 11 is the small so we have to allocate that 11 once you allocate that you have to subtract that allocation from that particular supply and demand so 11 minus 11 0 15 minus 11 4 right once you done that now factory one is having the zero supply now they cannot supply anything more so what we have to do we have to cancel them because they are no more into the next operation so we have to cancel them we have cancel that now don't think about the factory one now we will see the this remaining sum so these are the 4 by 4 by uh, this only sales eight sales are there so now out of this eight sales which one is the smallest Okay, I am thinking twenty-eight, right? You also thinking the same. Twenty-eight is the smallest or least. So you have to check the demand and supply for twenty-eight. So demand is twelve, supply is thirteen. So which one is the smallest? Twelve. I am right. You are rightly saying twelve. So twelve. So this allocation you have to subtract from that particular demand and supply. So twelve minus twelve zero, right? And twelve minus thirteen minus twelve one, right? Now. You can see that warehouse three is done with their demand. They don't have any demand, any more demand. So what we have to do? We have to cancel that demand, right? Now still we have some these sales. These six sales are there. Out of that, again we have to find out the smallest: thirty four, thirty six, forty six, sixty four, fifty four, eighty two. Yes, you got it correctly. Thirty four is the smallest. Now we have to choose. Again, the thirty-four. You have to check the demand and supply of that particular sale. So demand is six and supply is one. So which one is the smallest? Yes, one is the smallest. So we have to allocate the one and we have to subtract also from demand and supply. So it will become five. It will become a zero. Now you are getting right. Now 
who is done with that demand or supply yes factory 2 is having a zero supply so when the factory 2 is having a zero supply we know that in future operation we cannot uh, consider them so we have to cancel them right now only three cells are remaining 64 54 82 so which one is the smallest very good it's a 64 we have to select that smallest one and now you have to check the demand and supply so demand is how much 5 supply is 19 so which one is the smallest yes 5 so we have to allocate 5 over here once you do the allocation there you have to subtract from the particular demand and supply so it will become a 0 it will become a 15 right so now see you can see that warehouse one is done with their demand so can we consider them in future no so we have to cancel them now only 54 and 82 is remaining right so when 54 and 82 is remaining so what you have to do again you have to check the demand and supply so demand is 10 okay demand is 10 now yes one more thing let me correct when we done this we allocate the 5 over here at that time 5 minus 19 is a 14 so this is small correction 40 right now again now we cancel that now we can see that 54 and 82 is the only two sales are remaining so 52 is having demand 10 supply 40 so which one is the smallest yes right you are rightly saying that 10 is the smallest so 10 we have to allocate so 10 minus 10 0 14 minus 10 it will become 4 right now who is done with the demand or supply? W2 is done with the demand, so we have to cancel that. Right? Now, which one is the remaining? The only one cell is remaining 82. So there is no need to look at the list or anything. Just allocate them. So what is demand? 4. And supply is 4. So we can allocate here 4. So it will become a 0. It will become a 0. Once you're done with the all, all things, you have to check. All the demands become a 0. All the supplies are become a zero. It means we have done properly, right? There is no need of anything. So now we have how many allocations? One, two, three, four, five, and six allocation. Very, very good. Now how to calculate the transportation cost for this? So very easy for calculating transportation cost. Okay, very easy now. See the allocation eleven. 11 is the allocation, cost is 26. So you have to multiply 11 into 26 plus what is the next allocation? 1 is the allocation, 34 is the cost. So 1 into 34. Then 12 is the allocation and 28 is the cost. So plus 12 into 28 plus next allocation, 5 is the allocation and 64 is the cost. 5 into 60. 4 plus 10 is the allocation, 54 is the cost, plus 4 is the allocation and 82 is the cost, right? So now you have to do the perform the method, uh, multiplication and uh, addition. So let me do that. So the cost is 1 Eight double four, right? So with the help of LCM, we got the transportation cost one thousand eight hundred and forty-four. So previously, you remember that with the help of NWCR, we got in same sum cost for two one nine zero. But with the help of LCM, we are able to reduce the transportation cost. It means, as compared to NWCR, LCM is a more effective for calculating the transportation cost. If any query. Any suggestions, you can contact me or WhatsApp on my WhatsApp number. My name is Sachin. Okay. In future, any suggestions, please let me know in comment section. Please subscribe my channel for more videos. Thank you. Thank you for watching.